Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. In today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be doing another one of Steve Good's Stickman projects. I really enjoy doing them, and there's a huge variety of them over on his website in the pattern catalog. The last one we did out here was the Stickman Fisherman and his dog fishing for the big one. Thought that turned out real good, so I went and downloaded another project, and this one is the Stickman I Love You be a great gift for a significant other or a loved one be real cool it's not that big it won't take up that much room on a shelf or a counter or something but it uses one quarter inch plywood i've already got the pattern attached with clear packing tape and we're about to head over to the drill press and drill our pilot holes and then we're going to head over to the table saw and use this scrap piece of three quarter inch pine to make a base out of but like I said, let's head over to the drill press and drill our pilot holes so we can come and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press with a tiny drill bit, we're going to drill all of our pilot holes. I think there may be around 20 for this project. Then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I'm using number five reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blades and uh, as I said at the beginning of the video I'm using quarter inch plywood and these blades cut through the um, wood like butter so if you have a variable speed scroll saw you might need to slow it down or speed it up depending on your preference the pattern is designed by Steve Good and is available as a free pattern download over at his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. He has a whole line of these Stickman scroll saw projects available. I've made probably three or four of them now and I really enjoy making them. Not a very complex pattern if you're familiar over on the scroll saw. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more DIY videos and other kinds of videos. I mainly specialize over here on the scroll saw as you're seeing now, but I do tend to do some other projects. And also give me a follow over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Link to my Instagram page will also be down in the description below. Beginning that long final outside cut to release to stick men from the wood. And I will go on and let you know that this piece is fragile with the nature of the stick figures. So when you finally release them from the wood, just be extra careful with them. Don't try to bend it or they will more than likely snap off completely from their base. But we're finishing up here. And going to remove the pattern from the wood. There's the finished piece, very small. And we're going to mark our 3 quarter inch pine board here for the base and head over to the table saw and rip it down to a narrower length if that's a word. Then we're going to remove the fence from the table saw and square, square up the base and cut it to its final size and go back to the workbench and get everything and go over to sanding and hit everything with the palm sander. And here I'm using just a big washer to get a even curve around the, the base and we're going to move to the disc sander and round those over. Just thought that would be a nice touch for the base. And then we're going to use hot glue to attach it to the base and I will tell you why this wasn't a good idea at the end of the video. But after that dried about five minutes I went on over and got my staining supplies and decided to give this a coat of stain. let it set up a while after it was stained and then I wiped everything off and I just let it stain it enough to get it dark and I set this over in front of the fan and let it dry for about 30 minutes and the 
project was completed. And here we have the completed Stickman I Love You. I think it turned out real good. It stained up real nice. Um, all I have to do is add a clear coat to it and I'll just hang it on a wire, take it outside, give it a few coats of clear coat and let that dry and then this project will be completely done. One note, um, when I use the hot glue to attach the Stickman to the base um, before I stained it, while I was staining it actually came apart so I don't know if the wood stain dissolves or eats away hot glue but off camera I just went ahead and wood glued this to the base with some more clamps uh, again I don't know why that happened maybe someone can leave me a comment as to why it actually happened that way but now it is attached with wood glue how I've attached done all the other stickman projects that I've got sitting around but once again here it is. This is always a, a great way to use up little shop scraps and make little trinkets and gifts to give somebody. Um, Steve Good does an awesome job designing these. I will probably do more of these Stickman projects in the future because I absolutely just love sitting making them and they're neat little, again, neat little projects to sit around. One more look at it. Again, I think it turned out real good. That about wraps up this video. Remember guys, if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.